Kenobi was one of, if not the only Force user to ever engage both Anakin Skywalker as well as Darth Vader during his lifetime, but also during debatably the prime of both of these personalities that lived within the same person at different points in the timeline. On Mustafar, Obi-Wan came to bear against the might of a full-powered Dark Side Chosen One, who attacked Obi-Wan with all of his power in the Dark Side, as well as experience as a Jedi Knight under Kenobi himself. Decades later, Obi-Wan dueled Vader again on the Death Star, where this time, Kenobi met his end in a desperate attempt to save Vader's own blood, Luke Skywalker, from Vader himself. Over both of these engagements, Obi-Wan was nearly bested, as Vader was irrefutably more naturally gifted than Kenobi with the Force as well as with the lightsaber, but the first, and arguably the second time, Kenobi conquers the Sith Lord. But the question remains, according to Obi-Wan himself, who was the more formidable and terrifying opponent? Was it a rage and hatred-fueled Skywalker who was just beginning to explore the limits of his strength in the dark side of the Force with his full potential, or was it the hardened, calculated machine who had spent decades with only the thought of vengeance on his mind and with hundreds of Jedi conquered by his blade? This is what Obi-Wan said concerning who was the more powerful opponent. Many years later, I dueled Darth Vader a second time. The Sith Lord was now more experienced and powerful. This duel was very different from the last. I was older and weaker, while Vader was even stronger, fueled by hatred and thirst for revenge. The simple fact of the matter is that Vader had simply become more learned and experienced as a Sith Lord as he grew older. Despite losing much of his inherent power, he still grew more powerful than he was that day on Mustafar, and according to Obi-Wan, Darth Vader on the Death Star was far more powerful than Anakin on Mustafar. The rage that boiled within Vader for years simply did not compare to the sudden hatred that he had for his master on Mustafar. The rage was tenfold decades later Later, with Vader forced to simmer on his failure and defeat at Obi-Wan's hand, as every Jedi he killed was viewed as unsatisfactory because every Jedi was not Kenobi. I would even argue that in his battle with Kenobi, Vader is the most connected to the dark side that he has been for a long time. Vader brings all of the years of torment to the front of his abilities, and is finally able to destroy the weakened Jedi Master. But that is who Obi-Wan was said more powerful from the voice of the Jedi Master himself in Anakin Skywalker or Lord Vader. This is also why I believe Obi-Wan believed Vader was more powerful than Skywalker as he had had decades to master his dark side abilities when Anakin was only just beginning. The saying that experience beats skill every day is absolutely true here as Obi-Wan explains. But leave your thoughts on this in the comments down below and who is more powerful in your interpretation, Anakin or Darth Vader? Always thank you guys so much for watching, may the force be with you and have a great day. Thank mm -hmm. you.